The paintwork of the body, like most modern cars, is thin and does not differ in resistance to external factors, it quickly acquires chips and scratches. The windshield frame, hood, lower part of the doors and seals are most susceptible to damage. There are also problems with the durability of the paintwork and the area of the pillars, of the side mirrors and door handles, over time the paint begins to peel off. If the fastening of the windshield moldings is damaged, there may be problems with the integrity of the paint at the points of contact with the racks, wiped down to the metal. Things are much worse with the durability of chrome parts, which after 3-5 years lose their presentable appearance, become cloudy and swell. The hood is made of thin aluminum, because of which it will intensively acquire not only chips, but also small dents. The body of the Citroën C5 II is galvanized, however, only on one side, which causes poor corrosion resistance on some panels. So, for example, corrosion quickly affects the front fenders, which often rust from the inside. The same problem occurs with the rear airships, but due to the fact that they are better protected from dirt, the problem is much less common. Before buying a car, pay attention to the presence of blisters in the paint, as here this is a sure sign of thorough corrosion. It is necessary to check for red disease and the seams of the supramotor niche, which when the drain is contaminated, quickly becomes covered with rust. The bottom of the car has a thin layer of anti-gravel coating, when damaged, small pockets of rust appear. We are not talking about serious problems yet, but an additional layer of anti-corrosive will definitely not be superfluous. Hydraulic suspension lines are also prone to corrosion, which can cause a lot of problems with hydraulics. Thresholds are also considered vulnerable, they corrode at the points of attachment of the lining. For cars with a panoramic sunroof, the front edge and the rear edge of the thresholds can rust, since the drain is brought to these places, and in the station wagon the trunk floor, it gets wet due to a poor quality fifth door seal. Bumpers are also considered quite problematic, due to the small clearance they often suffer while driving on country roads, plus in hot weather they can lose their shape, barely noticeable waves appear. Exterior mirrors are also problematic, in which the folding mechanism is not reliable, the limiter breaks. The door mechanisms often fail, the latches wear out, open and closing is accompanied by clicks, and the power window cables. Able to deliver a headache and the hood opening mechanism, in which the handle breaks due to oxidation of the cable. To solve the problem, the owners changed the plastic look to a metal one from the Peugeot 407. In the front optics, Vala lenses are considered vulnerable, especially when using headlights instead of DRLs, they burn out in 3-5 years. In station wagons, it is necessary to monitor the tightness of the position lamps, since moisture in them leads to connector failure, burns out. The contacts in the license plate lights also rot quite quickly. Citroën C5 has an impressive line of power trains. Gasoline 1.6, EP6, 120 horsepower, 1.8, EW7A, 127 horsepower, 2.0, EW10A, 143 horsepower, 3.0, ES9A, 215 horsepower, and turbo engine 1.6, TNR, EP6, CDT, 155 horsepower. Diesel 1.6, DV6, DET4, 109 horsepower, 2.0, DW10, 138 horsepower, 2.2 DW12, 200 horsepower, 2.7 DT17 TED4, 200 horsepower, and 3.0 DT20C, 240 horsepower. The stock engine and turbo engine are representatives of the infamous Prince series, which even with quality service need to be overhauled by 250,000 kilometers. The main reason for the rapid failure of the internal combustion engine is considered to be a tendency to coking of oil channels. It manifests itself as an oil burner. The problem is aggravated by a weak oil pump. A decrease in the level of lubrication, in turn, leads to accelerated wear of the phase control system, which is already quite problematic. The vacuum pump of the brake booster, flowing, can also be attributed to the unreliable ones, the jamming of which is fraught with a breakdown of the intake camshaft and an open timing chain. Against this breakdown such troubles as the current filter and valve cover, the short life of the engine mounts, the electromagnetic clutch of the water pump drive, thermostat and lambda sensors look like a trifle. The timing drive here is chain. In the aspirated chain with the tensioner serves about 200,000 km, but in a turbo engine they will have to be replaced every 100-150,000 km. Motors of the EW series 1.8 and 2.0 are considered one of the most successful and not only in the Citroën C5 II line. The main breakdowns of internal combustion engine are caused by the frequent use of bad fuel, injector's failure, short service life of spark plugs and ignition coils. You should also avoid using cheap oil, as this negatively affects the operation of hydraulic lifters, they start knocking. With the rare renewal of the lubricant, the ventilation system and its jets quickly become clogged. As a result, the intake is contaminated and leaks appear that finish off the tips of the ignition modules and the starter. 
The throttle valve and IAC are prone to cocking, the pollution of which leads to unstable engine operation, the destruction of the plastic of the intake manifold and its dampers. After 200,000 km of run, the engines begin to take oil little by little, but with high quality maintenance, they do not require piston repairs up to 500,000 km. The 3-liter engine ES9 is also quite reliable, which, like the engines of the EW series, painfully endures the use of low-quality fuel. In addition to the modest resource of nozzles, ignition elements, lamp sensors, and the tendency to leak lubricants, it is worth noting the use of unsuccessful plastic cylinder head covers and cooling system pipes made of low-quality aluminum. After 150,000 km, the catalyst begins to crumble, particles of which are drawn into the pistons with all the ensuing consequences – seizures appear. Of the operational shortcomings, it is necessary to highlight the complexity of maintenance and impressive fuel consumption – 16 18 liters per 100. Diesel. Most of the Citroen C5 II presented on the secondary market are equipped with reliable engines of the DW series. The main malfunction of these engines are caused by the use of domestic diesel fuel, which rapidly disables fuel injectors, flow plugs, the USR valve, and high-pressure fuel pump. Often, the cause of equipment failure is caused by a failure of the electric pump in the tank and leaks in the fuel supply line, pressure drops. For cars with a millage of more than 100,000 km, there is oil in the intake, but the quantity and the reasons are different for everyone. The main culprits are the turbine and the oil separator on the valve cover. Errors caused by underinflating or overinflation of turbines are also considered a common ailment. On cars of the first years of production, the crankshaft poly often failed. Of the operational shortcomings, it is worth highlighting the complexity of the design of these engines, which is why not every service undertakes to repair them. The 2.7 motor is also not bad, the disadvantages of which are the expensive and very delicate CR Siemens piezo injectors, and the weak chain located between the camshafts. The thermostat hosing is also unreliable here, it often bursts along the seam and the motor quickly overheats. With age, there is a gradual development of the oil pump, which leads to a decrease in lubrication pressure in the system and the appearance of scoring, leading to rotation of the liners and breakage of the crankshaft. A 3-liter diesel engine, like weaker units, is quite difficult to maintain and has fuel equipment that is sensitive to the quality of diesel fuel. Also, a weak crankshaft and an oil pump can be attributed to ailments, the malfunction of which is fraught with a decrease in oil pressure with subsequent damage to the liners and the internal combustion engine wedge. The owners also know the unreliability of gaskets and seals flow. The engine resource often exceeds 400,000 km. The 1.6 engine DV6DET4 in the Citroën C5 is very rare, but it is for the best since it is the most problematic in the line. In addition to the typical ailments for solar ICs, in this engine the air dispenser irregularly fails, flow, the camshaft comes crumble, and its chain is prone to stretching. The reflectory washers under the fuel injectors also have a short service life, when they burn out, the wells are strongly coked. For owners who save on maintenance, the list of problem areas is replenished with a turbine. After 200,000 km, there is a risk of catching burnout of pistons and corrosion of cylinder liners. The Citroën C5 gearbox list includes two mechanics 5-speed BE4-BE4R and ML6C 6-speed, AL4 DP0 4-speed automatic and AM6 6-speed, which is better known as ASIN TF80SC. A robot was available for the European market, but in our country a car with such a transmission is considered exotic. In general, manual transmissions can be called successful, since breakdowns in them up to 250,000 km are very rare. The main disadvantage of manual transmissions is the tendency to leak lubricant, with a decrease in the level of which accelerates the wear of synchronizers and bearings. The disease is characterized by the appearance of extraneous sounds from the CP. In the 6-speed, the dual mass flywheel adds problems, which needs to be replaced closer to 200,000 km. But the original clutch kit is not very successful here and may be asked for a replacement without having served even 100,000 km. You can also note the lack of adaptation for operation in a harsh climate. In severe frost, the cable of the gear selection mechanism freezes. In addition to operational inconveniences, you have to use force to switch. This drawback negatively affects the life of the plastic bushings of the brake stage. It is destroyed. But the 4-speed automatic can hardly be called successful. Of the main disadvantages, it is worth highlighting the use of a small heat exchanger, which is why the box is prone to overheating. Exceeding the permissible temperature negatively affects the life of the plastic and the rubber parts of the box, the wear of which leads to surges in lubricant pressure, leakage, and other troubles. With critical heating, the automatic transmission can fail with the valve body, spool switch, and even springs brake, which can hardly be called successful anyway, sensitive to pollution. 
If the box is not killed by overheating closer to 150,000 km, solenoids, bushings and cylindrical plane bearing that act as seals will have to be replaced. It is worth noting that when the bearings wear, the pressure decreases and the oil pump has to work at maximum. Another disadvantage of the gearbox can be attributed to the tendency to leaks, the unreliability of the electronic control unit, clutches, torque converter, needle bearings and brake band. The resource of the box to the capital, even with careful operation, rarely exceeds 200,000 km. The sixth step is more successful and with proper maintenance up to 200,000 km does not require special attention. Of the problem areas of the box, it is worth highlighting a not very successful valve body, in which, when overheated, the cover on the side of the locking piston can be deformed. It should be noted that the presence of deformations leads to uneven wear of the clutch friction linings and is blocking. You can also highlight the tendency to leak oil of the heat exchanger, pump cuff, oil seal of the left axle shaft and the absence of a dipstick for checking the lubrication level. In the versions with diesel engines, accelerated wear of the bearing in the flywheel of the torque converter is observed. With untimely maintenance, the list of problem areas is replenished by friction clutches and solenoids, the contamination of which is fraught with a decrease in lubrication pressure and intensive wear of the mechanical part of the box. On the Citroën C5 II, on the first years of operation, with the advent of frost, there may be problems with their gear selector, it cannot be removed from the P position. The reason is the selector lock really is faulty. For the Citroën C5 II, two types of transmission are provided – Classic and Hydroneumatics Hydroactive 3 Plus. On the front axle of both variants a double lever design is used and a multi-link design on the rear. The difference between these options lies only in the fact that Hydroneumatics is endowed with an electric pump, hydraulic accumulators, valve blocks, a bunch of tubes and working cylinders, which makes it comfortable and expensive to maintain. In general, the suspension is reliable, with the exception of shock absorbers, which may begin to leak after 30-60,000 km. About the same amount can withstand the rear silent blocks of the front suspension arms and stabilizer consumables. The lower ball joints run 100-120,000 km. The upper ones are able to last more than 150,000 km, but due to the fact that they turn sour in the aluminum hosing of the King pin, it is problematic to change them. The rest of the suspension parts can withstand about 150,000 km. The maintenance of the rear axle is costly, since there are seven silent blocks on one side plus a compound break-up lever, the bolts of which are prone to souring. In cars with hydropneumatic, in addition to the problems described above, a tendency to corrosion and leakage of high-pressure pipes supplying fluid to the hydraulic struts is added. If the tubes are leaking at the rolling points, you can try to recompress them. After 120-150,000 km, the hydrosphere becomes unusable, the membrane breaks. At the same run, failures of the suspension level valve raises jerkly and the BHI hydraulic control unit are possible. The steering system uses a rack and pinion mechanism with power steering, versions with EGUR spring suspension. The rail here is quite reliable, but with age, the bushings may still need to be replaced, they break. The booster pump also serves for a long time, about 200,000 km. But the steering consumables turned out to be not so hardy, the steering tips go a little more than 60,000 km. The thrust is 100-150,000 km. The mechanical part of the brakes is reliable, but the electronics often spoil the nerves of the owners of the Citroën C5. The main sources of trouble are ABS sensors, they are afraid of dirt, the brake pedal contact switch, the electronic parking brake gearbox, gears brake, and its motor. You can also know the unsuccessful tips of the cables, they are afraid in the area of U200B, U200B the caliper. The quality of assembly and finishing materials does not raise any special questions, although it is worth recognizing that the quality of finishing is slightly better for pressed island copies. There are no complaints about the wear resistance of finishing materials, which even after 200,000 km retain their presentation. The only exception are the interior equipment control buttons and plastic inserts of the steering wheel, the paint peels off over time. But such trifles as latches are not very reliable here and can spoil the nerves of the owners of the Citroën C5. Much more trouble is caused by electronics and interior equipment, of which there are quite a lot even in stock trim levels. The list of problem areas includes the climate system, in which, closer to 150,000 km, the joints of the pipes elude their tightness and the climate control unit board fails. At 150-200,000 km, the air conditioning compressor becomes unusable. A common occurrence is the failure of the head unit and BC displays on the instrument panel. For cars in rich trim levels, the message function quickly becomes unusable, serves 100-150,000 km. Another disadvantage is the tendency to oxidize the contacts of the locks and the wiper motor drive board, the short service life of the turn switches, power windows, heated seats, contact brake and fans. 
After four six years of service, body high sensors require attention. If they fail, hydronumetics and xenon headlight adjustment do not work correctly. On older specimens, you should check the condition of the wiring in the engine compartment, since it is not the most successful on this model. Insulation breaks down over time, corrodes. If you are the owner of this car model, please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your review that will help readers of our site when choosing a car.